friends, it's Amber from Amber and Plants Today, and I'm super excited to be coming on and doing a Taylor Swift Eras Tour memory keeping page. So this, I want to point out, like, can be for anything. Maybe you didn't go see Taylor Swift, maybe you're not a fan of Taylor Swift, which, you know, whatever, you do you, um, but, like, you went to a Sheeran, or you went to a different concert, or you had like a really big party or event that you want to have extra space to memory keep, this is a great way to do that. So this page right here, I'm gonna just kinda show you everything we have here. This page is actually from the Happy Planner. They came out with some cardstock um, papers that um, are pre-punched and all of those things that fit perfectly in that big size planner. We're gonna be using this one today. The back has some grid. We're gonna be using the back as well. Then I already did write out Taylor Swift because stickers can take a long time. Um, and I didn't want you guys have to have to be there for that. But we, I just used these Mambi Stick letter um, stickers. And this T at the end of Swift, was like really long like this one and it just was like covering the eye and it was I didn't like it so I did end up cutting it I don't think it looks awful it probably isn't my favorite but it isn't awful um I would letter it but like literally I'm so anxious to do that that I just decided to use these stickers I also have all the pictures of course I'll share with you how I printed those but I also have the um Caitlin Plans Midnight sticker sheet um which has a lot of um, suggestions to Taylor Swift. I won't use a ton of these, probably mostly the stars, just because um, I have a little bit of a different idea for how I'm gonna decorate the page. Anyway, so let's put this. Okay, we might need to move the F down. So I really, I, I really love using this um, page. Like this is just a clear thing that I that I just kind of lined these up on. Because I want that to be as close to the top as possible. Okay. Um, this is not even. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna move this T a little bit as well. Move that up. And then I want to kind of try to get that into the middle of the page. That looks better. Okay, so then we're kind of gonna push the top down. And then we're just gonna kind of go letter by letter and peel this off of it. And then Taylor is done. bracelet stuck and Taylor Swift okay then since I didn't have Eras tour done we can do that one together so I'll kind of just show you what I did I'm just gonna try to find all the letters at least for Eras okay so I found the E and what I'm going to do is I kind of do I'm gonna just move this actually and we're just gonna put the E I put it like halfway up and halfway down kind of thing um, so that there's plenty of space to have it off of the page too. ER. And then I kind of just line it up to make it appear that it was lettered. So some of it has to cover more of the letter before. Um, okay. And then do this one, Eras. This T. O. Let's see. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. I almost grabbed a W. That's not it. And a U. And then another R. So then we're gonna grab this guy again, and we kind of want, I don't think I love the R. I'll try to put it up a little bit, I think. Okay, I like that. 
and I want to put it in the middle. So I think right there. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's probably good. So I'm not gonna miss about this R, so I might put it down. I might put it down when we're done. Okay, so then we're gonna do the same thing. Peel off. You can do this with whatever. You can do this with parchment paper. Um, you can do it with like any anything that that the stickers can come off of. Okay, that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. Okay, sweet. So now we have all of these stickers down and let's put at least some of these really cute stars around. Now for the front page, what I actually wanted was to do all of the pictures I got of Taylor Swift specifically. Um, but I don't, I don't have room now that I put that there. So we're actually just going to put the pictures of all of our friends and like everyone I went with, we'll put, I got to meet Mama Swift. So we'll do that one. Um, dang, if I can only fit six pictures, how do I pick? How do I pick? I guess I do have two of only me. So maybe I should like not not be selfish but i just loved my outfit i loved everything so okay i actually really like that i really really like that um let's do so if you can't tell i'm wearing purple i'm in my well i'm not i'm not in but um the era i was going for was speak now which is one of her albums and I think because I'm mostly in purple, I'm going to use some of the purple layering elements from Bujo Essentials Rainbow to layer with just a couple of the stickers. Or yeah, with the pictures. And then the way that I printed my pictures, I wanted to share because um, I actually just found a new way for this specific spread. Um, so I, I use Canva a lot for um, like different um, things. I'm gonna layer with this one too. And um, I actually used Canva to make a, I made a, um, like a template that was two inches wide by 3.15 inches tall. And I I'll, will check in a minute if it fits in the classic horse or in the classic vertical big size planner that I typically use for memory keeping. Um, but I know that, um, it's a little bit bigger than three inches tall. So that's why um, I did that size. And then um, I saved them as a photo, as a JPEG. I put them into a um, Google Doc and then I printed them on sticker paper. So I think I want to put one underneath this one. So I'm going to put that one there and then I think I'm gonna do this one I guess I should put it on here first if you put it on here you can kind of tell where it's gonna go right there okay I am in love then okay there isn't a lot of sticker actually we're just gonna use all of the stars on this side because the other side really is not going to have a lot of space um, for really anything. So um, I think we're going to do it this way. And 
and individual stars, I think, okay, there's only, oh, there's a couple left. Most of them are with like something else, but I actually might do the clock. I might move this one and put the clock right here, if it fits. Um, let's do that one, that one, maybe right there. Let me try to take the sticker off. I ripped it, which honestly is not the biggest deal. It's actually still usable, so that's not bad. And then she did start out the airs for the clock, so I really do like this. I'm just gonna trim as close to the clock as I can because it is a little bit big. right at the edge. Just a little bit more. Okay. Then, oh yeah, that fits so much better. I kind of do want to still put a star here though. Put it right there, okay. And then this is all just trash. Okay. Then, um, I guess I could put like some writing in here. Um, I'll probably just use this Sarasa clip pen from Zebra because I feel like that is a really good option. I'm just gonna write, actually I'm gonna write up here. Mama, that's what everyone calls her. Swift. And then, um, I loved being so close. And then, um, even the guys were into it. And then I'm just gonna be like, loved experiencing this with Aubrey. draw a little arrow down to that one. Um, oh my gosh, I feel like I need to think of something amazing to put here. Like, um, like a Taylor Swift reference. Oh, I'm gonna have to think of something. I'm gonna try to think of like her early, her early songs. Like, ugh, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm gonna put that there. And I probably won't put a caption here because like I talked about Aubrey, like this is Kelly. We had a lot of fun together too. I don't know. I think that's probably it for the front side. I need to think of something though. I need to think of a good reference. Okay, so now we have the pictures of Taylor Swift. And I'm gonna go in order. Not, um, should I go in order of how she played or should I go in order of, uh, Okay, let's do this. Let's actually go in order of how she played because I think I'd want to remember that. So she first started with Lover and then she did Fearless. And yes, like we were literally this close to her. It was amazing. Um, after Fearless, she did Folklore. And then, then she went to Reputation, one of my favorites. And then after that, she did Red. No, speak now. Speak now. Is that right? Now I'm getting all jumbled up in my head. I might have to double check. I have all of the videos on my phone, you know, like I took pictures and videos every single era. Okay, so let's see. Obviously, we know she started with Lover, then she did Fearless. Then she did Folklore, then Reputation. After Reputation, she did speak now, I remembered, right? Yay. 
And then, okay, then she did do red. So that's her in her all too well outfit. Um, and then she did Evermore, 1989, and then Midnight's. Yep, that's right. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna have to be pretty careful with how I put these down because I want to have space to write the era that she did. And I do have to say, I was really sad that we didn't personally get anything from debut. Um, I absolutely love debut, um, the album. I know it's probably not everyone's favorite, but um, I do absolutely adore it. Um, and she didn't sing anything from debut. So our, our surprise songs were Starlight, which is from the Red era, the Red album. And then we also got Back to December, which was um, from Speak Now. So maybe you guys don't even know, but she does sing two surprise songs at every single out at every single concert. So basically she does like her normal, or maybe it's not normal because it's a freaking lot, 44 songs. And, um, and then she does her, um, two surprise songs. Okay. So I'm just trying to like, kind of get this directly into the middle. Just to line it up, I kind of like that this side is a grid because it makes it easier to line up. Um, then I am gonna take the uh, stickers from the Bujo Essentials sticker books again. And um, I'm going to layer on top, just a little bit of a layer for, um, this one has a little bit of white. Um, for the color of the album or the era. Ugh, I actually have all the confetti that I grabbed from the tour too. I didn't think about it, but I could have used that in here as well. But I think that this is gonna be just fine. Like I, I think I'll be content with this. Um, I think I want to do something else with the confetti, like doing it in a shadow box or something like that. So I've seen so many different ideas. This is kind of just a general memory keeping page for my planner. If I can do it right. There it is. Come on. I know you're there. There we go. Okay, and then this one I'm gonna put right there. Okay, so then So there's space in between all of them, so I could write underneath what album it was from. Except the top row doesn't have as much space. I just did one box. These ones have like one and a quarter box, which is like, I mean, it's basically even. It's no big deal. This one also has quite a bit of white. Sometimes when you're trimming them, it makes it a little hard. Okay. Last one, right there. Okay, so then what I want to do is go in first with the Bujo and I'm just gonna kind of go in order here. So like red, I'm gonna put a little layer there and then I think I might do the yellow for Fearless because um, Fearless is like kind of known to be a little bit like golden color. So I want to do that. But I want to put it kind of close to the top. I might have to trim a little bit off from right here, which I'm okay with. Okay, yellow and then green is typically associated with debut. Um, 
Blue is like this shade of blue is sometimes associated with 1989. Actually, I just, I got the bejeweled bracelet from the concert as well. And I was looking at it and I noticed that like this is debut, this one's fearless, speak now, red 1989, which is that blue color, reputation, lover, uh, folklore, evermore. And then fearless Taylor's version, red Taylor's version and midnight's. And then we don't like speak now Taylor's version came out, but not before the bracelet. So that's why. So I think I'm going to put the blue with this one because I feel like it makes sense. So I'm kind of going to put it like this. Um, okay. So then, sorry, that was probably like a really big tangent. I'm just going to rip off a piece of this for speak now okay and then let's see a oh, lover definitely gets this beautiful pink color actually i'm gonna use this one love oh my gosh i love the bujo like style of this i kind of want to put this down here i don't like the security guard's face So I think I'm actually just gonna kind of cover this side. This side instead. Okay, then, so we have, okay, most of these. I do need Reputation, which is going to be black, of course. So now we're gonna go into Bujo Essentials Neutrals. And I need something. I might do this like black like a black glitter, well, mostly because these are getting darker, so you can't really see them very well. Um, okay, let's do, I might do that one, but I also might do like this one down here. I know, Reputation gets two, but honestly, it is one of my favorites. Um, I know that Evermore, okay, yeah, so like, no, no, folklore sometimes gets that like grayish color. So I think we're gonna do that. Like this like kind of gray color. I'm trying to think, I'm gonna do like this one. It's a little harder to see, but then midnight, I don't have like that really dark blue. So I think I'm gonna do silver, like a silver glitter one. Um, it's like sometimes like, which one do I want to do? I just want it to be like kind of big and chunky. And then Evermore, I'm going to do the copper because mostly because it's like one of the only ones left as like an option. Um, and I think it looks good and it like, I'm here, like it is a little bit coppery, I guess. Um, I don't want to do like yellow again. So anyway, we're going to write the era that these are. So this is lover. This is fearless. Um, this one is folklore. This one is Big Reputation. Reputation. This one is Speak Now. This one's Red. This one is Midnight's. 
Okay, so basically this is all I'm gonna do for this side. Like I love having the colors of the arrow or the album here. Um, I really, really like that a lot. And then this is the front page, kind of just more like memory keeping who I went with. Um, oh, we never figured out an, like a, I'm just gonna write, I think I'm gonna write here. I think I'm actually gonna do it here. Like um, Aubrey, Kelly, and I waiting for merch, which is actually um, kind of a tip. So whenever we first got there, we had VIP tickets and VIP seats. Um, and we did not, um, we got there right as the VIP thing was closing and the merch lines were really long, but they were gonna open the rest of the stadium with like way more merch lines, um, all of the different things. Um, and so we got out of this line and went and like right at 4 30 we ran to like the next merch line right as they were like letting everyone else in so we were like the, literally the first people in line so it was like way worth it okay so i thought of a quote to put here and it's from her song cardigan which is from folklore um i really really love the song and the quote says and when I felt like I was an old cardigan under someone's bed, you put me on and said I was your favorite, which is just like, honestly, exactly like Mike and I's story. Like I had been through a lot. We started dating in high school, but um, I went through a lot right before I actually like met him and stuff like that. And I literally felt like an old cardigan, like just thrown away, not, doesn't matter, like <laughs> thrifted at the thrift store. And um, he put me on, not like, I don't know, not like that, but. <laughs> He, you know, he's like, you're my favorite. So I just, I feel like that's the perfect one. And when I felt like an old cardigan under someone's bed, bed. You put me on and said I was your favorite. I'm going to do this. Put a little quote marks there. That is not like what I wanted to look like, but you know what? We're going with it. It's not awful. Um, it fits, I made it work and it's there <laughs> anyway. So this is what it looks like and it is amazing. I am so excited to have this kind of as a memory and as a keepsake and, um, just kind of remembering all of the eras that we went through together with her. Um, I just absolutely I just absolutely love this. So I'm really, really excited to have this for my planner. You guys, I hope that you love this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos of mine and comment down below. If you are a Taylor Swift fan or a Swifty, let me know what your favorite era is because I am still honestly trying to figure it out because I just love them all. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>